What did he say? Hey guys, this is for both of you. Just want to get your impressions of the atmosphere today and seeing 47,000 fans there and all cheering and just the atmosphere of the day. Did it live up to what you expected or did it surprise you? Hey, bro, you younger, man. You younger, bro. <laughs> nah, it didn't surprise us. We knew there was coming out to support and we just wanted to show everybody what we can do in the fall season. I would say... I don't feel like it surprised us to where it shocked us because mentally we was putting ourselves through the atmosphere in the game, like situations, each and every day going in practice. So now when everybody else is able to see what we do at practice, then it's a show. But we just approach practice like every day as a game. So mentally we was already locked in and we knew, okay, there's going to be a lot of people. Brian Howell from the Bowler Daily Camera. Uh, Shadur, first for you, you know, you were part of, you know, Jackson State, you know, them building that, right? So what are your impressions so far of how things, the foundation is being laid so far for the first few months here? And then also, Travis, uh, for you, just kind of your thoughts on how this spring went as well. I would say we're we, we heading in, in a great direction. Now I know what I want. Back then I was younger, so I didn't I, – I was nervous. I was out there playing, and I didn't understand what I wanted, so I had to learn a lot. Now I got – Couple years under my belt. <clears throat> that smoothie good. <coughs> I had two smoothies earlier. Hold on. So I had I had I had a couple years under my belt now, so I know exactly what I want and I know how to get uh, the best out of guys. Like each receiver is different uh, for me. I know what's gonna make Travis play his best. I know what's gonna make Montana play his best, and of course Jimmy and Caleb and everybody like that. But now we know exactly what we want, and I'm able to really like step up and lead us in the right direction? I mean, we pretty much started off slow in the spring. I mean, we we always just not transferring in, so it took us a little bit longer than any probably any other team. But other than that, we started to bond well, started to practice, practice started to get more intense because we knew what we was doing. Defense starting to get gel, offense starting to gel more. So we just pretty much put our head down and we started to work towards what we wanted to work to for this fall season. So. Uh, Jake Shapiro, Denver Sports. Have either of you guys ever played in the snow before? And what was that like if it was your first time waking up knowing you were going to play in the snow? I went to sleep kind of early this morning. I mean, last night. So just when I woke up this morning, I didn't know it was snowing. So when I finally walked out the door to come here to campus, it was snowing. So I was like, I don't know about this one, Coach. You might have to play in the indoor. <laughs> but, but other than that, it, it was nice. I, know, I hope the pitchers came out well. I hope the film came out well. <laughs> hey, that's how you say. He's my young. But, this my other son than that, right here, I like, I like <laughs> it wasn't. It he wasn't that cold for me. He so. care about them pitches. <laughs> I, need, I need my pitches too. I, see this thing? All them photographers on the sideline, end zone, I need them. I don't know where they go. All those cameras, all those pictures, but we never get those pictures. Yeah, yeah I got to stop back and stingy. Uh, yeah, we I'm need telling those too. <laughs> Wait, you played in the snow before? Nah, I never played in the snow. I mean, I played when it was super cold, but once we got out there, it wasn't that cold, so. Nah, I ain't never played in the snow before. I played, like, in extreme cold weather, but not like that. Cool. Yeah, yeah, literally cool. It was cool. <laughs> but, nah, it was real fun going out there. It felt, I mean, warm up, I'm warming up, I'm like. Man, I'm, it's ice and everything everywhere, but the grounds crew, they did an amazing job. The balls wasn't wet. Everything was, like, mm. cool. Hey, guys, both, this one's for both of you. Obviously, that first drive, we saw the chemistry between you two and that drive, especially with the touchdown pass. But mm. can you talk about just the amount of work that goes in before a game? Because we obviously see the result, but there's obviously a ton of work that goes in beforehand. Main thing, quarterback-receiver relationship is trust. Like, that's, that's everything. Like, if I trust him and I know, okay, regardless of anything, he's not going to let nobody pick my ball, then that, the, 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 the catch is going to go up. And that's what um, Montana know also. So he stepped up today too. So I'm just, I'm just really proud of just the whole, like, receiver core uh, just stepping up. Even we didn't have Jimmy today. He was just out there looking clean and <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted his pitches too but no nah, I was just excited that everybody stepped up and they uh everybody had a great time yeah like you said just pretty much trust like I try to say like every time I mess up on on offense or if uh not in the right place or if I get there too quick I after the drop I'll go in and talk to him be like what you need me to do right here and then he'll let me know and then we'll just fix it so you got to fix it along the road you can't just Act like it never happened. You got to listen and see what his point of view is. Because sometimes maybe I can't see what he see. 
So we just try to gel and try to get everything correct so when we go back out the next time, we won't have another problem. And then the deep balls, I got to hit them perfectly because then <laughs> I'm going to see on film him raising his arms up, pouting and everything. I tell him, bro, don't do that, bro. You know he's young. He get little attitudes a little bit. So. Nah, I just hate running down the field wide open for no reason. <laughs> For both of you guys, I know you had a game to, to worry about, conditions and otherwise, but can you all appreciate and your teammates appreciate all the alums that came back and even guys like Lendell White and Terrell Davis who aren't CU alums, but because this was the place to be today, mm -hmm. was, it, was it cool and you think you and your teammates were able to appreciate that a little bit? Uh, I would probably say we would appreciate it, but we, when we woke up, we wasn't thinking about alumni. We were thinking about what we're going to do today. What can we uh, show them that – they haven't seen yet. So we were pretty much just coming here locked in. We wasn't worrying about alumni right now. Probably after the game, yeah, but during the game, we wasn't. See, that's the thing. Like, before a game, everybody come and it's, <laughs> it's all eyes on them, but we were not. Nah, nah, before the game, everybody gets together and they come and they um, just enjoy, like, what's going on. We got to go out there and play. So I can't really enjoy it as much as they can, you know what I'm saying? And I don't really dap up too much people because I want to just have extreme focus on the task at hand. So after the fact, then we're able to mingle and, you know, just appreciate what was going on. But that's the worst thing about a football player is, like, during a time we can't really enjoy the fact that everybody came back, all the fans in the stands going crazy and stuff because we got to play each play for what it is. We got to stay focused throughout the whole time.